Okay, so good morning. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of um, the Schoology interface for those of you who've never used Schoology. It's basically uh, for us at the Techno Month today, we're, we usually use Blackboard. I've been using Schoology. I've used Moodle. I've used quite a few other systems. Um, I like this one. I thought I'd show you Schoology or Schoology while we're uh, while we're using our course. So. First, if, if you go to the web page, you're logged in uh, of Schoology, you'll notice on the left you've got your calendar of activities that you can review, um, people that you might be connected to, any subscriptions to, to information. What's probably important here is on the, on the right you'll get reminders. For example, I, need, I have some grading I need to do for my other courses. Um, all of my courses are in Schoology. And then any upcoming deadlines for you that affect you. It affects me since I'm the teacher of this course. Uh, you'll notice I don't have any deadlines for my other classes, and that's because uh, I don't have deadlines on my assignments, and we'll talk about that as we as we go through the course. Um, well, I have a deadline. It's the last day of classes, actually. So at the top, we got the home button. It's pretty standard. You have uh, courses, so I'm teaching some courses. Um, there's some groups, which are not really like courses, but more kind of discussion areas. You'll notice, actually, my, my wall here has some posts from that. So I'm a member of Schoology Educators. Um, Flip Classrooms is another group in Schoology, and I created a group called Schoology Tech de Monterey um, so that we can talk about um, our experiences within Schoology. I've actually I've talked to the um, the system level about what I'm doing in Schoology and, and trying to promote the use of Schoology for our classes besides this one. Um, so that's that, and then over here you've got um, any messages you've had lately, discussions are kind of like private messages, just like Facebook or, or Twitter. Um, any requests for contact, um, you can you can be like friends in Schoology, so you can play around with that. And any alerts of, of messages or notifications of what's been going on, and you can choose which type of alerts. So I can see that um, some people have submitted some assignments. Um, another important issue is, say we've got here, uh, we can look at all the posts, kind of like a Facebook timeline of what's going on. You can see here's the post I made last night to you. And then we'll just jump into the course. So let's jump into our course. And it'll load up. At the top, any announcements. So anything that I, I mark as being important as an announcement, I'll have up here. I need to work with the people's Schoology. I don't know why it's not picking these up as URLs that are clickable. You'd have to copy paste to, to take this. Um, and then uh, you can jump back between your courses. Menu bar stays at the top. One thing I do want to point out for those of you in my course right now is notifications. So uh, your notification will be a little bit different because I have um, a different view because I'm teaching the course. But you definitely want to make decisions about what you want to be notified by. Okay, So if you love to get email about anything that changes in our course, then definitely leave everything selected. If you feel that it's getting w way too spammy and you've got too much in your inbox and you only want to look at the information when you go to Schoology, then feel free to um, uncheck some of these. Course update posted means I've, I've put something like an update on the wall or someone else has. Uh, comments on those updates or assignments or discussions might be interesting. I've got everything turned on because I want to know what's going on in the course. Um, you can remove those and then just put, well, just comments on my posts. So if you make a post and then somebody comments, you'll get alerted that somebody commented. Um, assignment submissions, that's important for me. Um, submissions because I'm, I'm the teacher. Um, user joining the course because I'm the teacher as well. Uh, course content created might be interesting for uh, students in your courses or for you in this course as a student. If I create a new assignment, you'll get alerted that a new assignment has appeared. Um, down the left, we've got materials, we've got updates, uh, the grade book for looking at your grades, uh, badges, there's a, a gamification badge type system within Schoology, uh, I'm not using it right now. Uh, you could use it for attendance, um, you can look at who's a member, and you can look at some analytics and it gives you some data view of what's going on in your course. Um, from this interface, I won't tell you how to use Schoology as a teacher, but just as a student, um, you can create folders here. I have a folder of assignments, so these are the things you have to hand in. They actually match what's upcoming over here on the on the right. Um, but if, say, the deadline passes for submission zero, which is October 15th, you can still find them here under the assignments. Um, discussions. So um, for my course, the one we're doing now, the idea is the submissions are for the actual homework content, and discussion is our weekly kind of um, place to 
have questions and answers about what we're working on this week. Um, so this week, most of our discussion should be in discussion zero, and that's our uh, first kind of introduction to the course on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. here, Guadalajara time. Um, I think that's pretty well all I want to show you, other than um, on Saturday morning, the idea is you should uh, go to the meeting and the meeting's linked right here. I sent this out as an email post. Uh, I did that this way for those that are interested. I go to course options and I hit send message and it emails everybody. Um, I'm gonna have to change this access code, I think, but oh well, um, I won't worry about it. I get notified if someone joins my course, I can just kick them out. Um, if some random person sees this on the internet, by the time they see it, I'll, I'll have to reset this probably next week. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so for Saturday, for tomorrow morning, you want to click or copy paste this and bring it up over here. What you'll see is that uh, this is the Flip Learning uh, Professional Development Session number zero. It hasn't started. Uh, there's some information here on the right, details. I created it. It's a private event. Um, there's some links here that shows this is the YouTube page. I could embed this on a web page if I wanted to. The event page is where we are right now. Um, that's what I sent you links as. It's tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, local Guadalajara time. It's a Hangouts on Air. It'll be broadcast to YouTube. That's why we have that YouTube link there, um, that YouTube page link, which is the same as what I gave you over here. If you have a webcam too shy to join in, um, you want to see the session live, or you can see it recorded later, that's that link right there. I sent that out in an email as well. I've invited some people that I know that are on Google+. Plus. Um, Arturo has split personality, I guess, because he has two Google Pluses. That's okay, I do too as well. Um, I have my Gmail, which is this one, and I have my tech Google+. Plus. Um, I invited Joel. I don't know if he's going to answer because he hasn't updated his picture. I don't know if he uses it. Um, and Lupita Inigui is, is active, and I've had her friended or circled before on Google+, Plus, so she should have got that message. Anyone else can request access. Um, if you open this up in another uh, page, say I'll open this up in a, a private browser window so it won't be logged in. If I open this up as just a random person, oh, that makes me log into Google. Oh, sorry. You'll have to log into Google to take a look at this page. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me. Uh, you have my email address, and uh, we will get in touch about how to contact tomorrow. The other option tomorrow, if you're not um, interacting through a webcam, is go to our discussion zero, whether it's tomorrow during the session or all all uh, all the next week or so about this first topics. Please, please go to this page, discussion zero first steps. Ask your questions. I'll try to monitor this while we're doing our our. Um, session tomorrow morning. Uh, it'll be a little tricky, but I've got multiple monitors, so I'll, I'll do a video of myself talking to you, and then on my other computer I'll try to keep track of what any questions are that come up during our conversation. And that's all I have to talk about Schoology and the kickoff of our um, video session tomorrow. Alright, thanks. I'll hit the stop button now. See you tomorrow morning.